hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to talk about the next topic i mean there are two more topics which is generic topics before we jump to the apis is how to write the entities how to define the relationships and how to play with the the type orm transactions okay these concepts exist in each and every orms like either you talk about the prisma sqlize defining the migrations running the migrations defining the transactions and uh, defining the relationships in the prisma schema or in the typo rm entities and all so here we are using users i want to talk about a simple use case of let's say restaurant let's say you are just uh, building a food ordering platform so here we'll put uh, all our entities and let's uh, play with, with them them so what do we have here is we have the restaurant and uh, we can have the other entities like restaurant restaurant dish and restaurant address and we will see how these three entities can be related to one another okay so one is the restaurant which is about the restaurant okay then restaurant dish which contains the menu items and then the restaurant address that is about okay what is the locations and because that can have multiple attributes and geo coordinates the physical address and all so we have these three different tables we will try to define the associations like address sorry uh, address in the restaurant will have one to one address and dish will have one to many because one restaurant can have multiple dish menu items like if you talk about any swiggy uber eats there you see the multiple restaurants and when you go to the single restaurant you can see the multiple categories and multiple dish menu items there can be restaurant category dish menu category then we can have another complexity but simple simplified way is restaurant restaurant menu and the restaurant address these three entities we will see how we can define the relationship uh, between these okay so i mean we already know how to create entity i can just copy this one here so I, what I need to create is restaurant entity. And I will disable, I will stop my application. Otherwise it will start creating the uh, tables right away. So what I'm going to create is restaurant entity.ts. Another entity we are going to create is restaurant dish and restaurant address. And then final entity we have is restaurant address. So these are the three entities. We just need to define okay how the restaurant look like. So first of all, a simple restaurant entity will have a ID, name, description. Let's say these are just uh, some simplified attributes. I'm going. I'm. I'm using some diff example which I have already covered just for this demo. So let's say this is the restaurant table like id name description and these are just like a basic properties and similarly we have another entity which is restaurant dish and restaurant address we'll just uh, keep changing the names restaurant addresses restaurant dishes and the restaurant entity we'll change the names restaurant dish entity restaurant address entity okay it will be let's say id city state restaurant dish also has a name disc description default columns we'll have a like ingredients okay what is the dish menu items is it what is the category it can be it it can have a lot more data right because it can have thumbnails cuisine type meal type food type let's populate some of these in the dish so these are just a worker column okay and uh, we can have these two default columns created at and updated at at all these entities because these are coming from type orm it will populate the created at and updated at attributes i mean columns in your tables now restaurant entity 
restaurant will have a primary key that will act as a foreign key in the restaurant dish because it's a one to many relationship right one restaurant will have multiple dish menu items so the, the thumb rule is we are just going to use these annotations one to many and many to one one to many from restaurant to dish and inside a restaurant dish we will write many to one annotation so from restaurant here we are going to define the type that is one to many right uh, so here is one to many and it is pointing to restaurant dish restaurant dish entity and how, how they are linked both these entities are linked through this object so there is a event dot restaurant inside the restaurant dish we will create this okay and this is public dishes and that is of type restaurant dish entity of type array and inside the dish entity sorry this should be inside restaurant entity this is one too many right one restaurant will have a multiple dishes and just import this dish entity and now what we need to do we will go to the dish entity and then we will define the join column reference here we need to use many to one right many dish menu items will point to the one restaurant and it is referring to the restaurant entity what happened restaurant entity and this event which particular attribute or property we are referring event dot dishes right and here the name is public restaurant here if you see the property you put is a restaurant the same we need to use it so this is just like thumb thumb rule once you write it you understand okay this is how you need to define it and here you can also add a join column that will be act as a foreign key and so that uh, type or won't will not put its own custom name for the foreign key so the name is restaurant id so this as a act this will be created as a foreign key and reference column is the id in the restaurant table so restaurant id will be a column in the restaurant dish table that will be referring to the id column of the restaurant table restaurant table which is a primary key right a you don't need to put semicolon so this is simple right one to many and many to one this is how you define the relationship similar similarly if there is another any other table this is how you can manage the relationship across the different tables okay so similarly in the address table also we can do the same because address will be one to one and there will be a join column so here instead of this i will just do one to one which will be pointing to the restaurant entity i will import it and the name is restaurant entity and this is a join column and this is restaurant right simple in the one to one you don't need to specify anything inside a restaurant entity because or you can specify the simple segment restaurant entity one to one restaurant address entity okay so main focus is here is on many to one uh, and one to many these are the annotations we put it with a join column okay now when i start the the type orm i mean when i enable the migrations and enable the synchronization and when i start this application then we will see be able to see the columns created and the tables created so when i added these entities in the db module dot db module dot for root these are the entities we have right now i have added the restaurant at address user this is the restaurant dish entity and the restaurant address entity right so i think i lost that sql it has generated it has generated all the primary key foreign key relationships and all and i can see that in the database also you can see restaurant addresses and here you can see the relationships restaurant dishes so this is the restaurant okay now the restaurant dishes it has this restaurant id relationship 
similarly the restaurant addresses it has this relationship so this is how we can create the tables from the entities that's very simple and we are using join column so the column name will be not a custom one but the specified columns by yes restaurant id now how do i write the migration for this for the production i already got the tables i will extract the table create uh, sql i will put the migration create and put that uh, in the migration file then when i push this code on the production migration run will execute and all these three tables will be created through the migration files not by this db sync utility okay so this is how you specify the relationships in the entities for the typo rm